What's going on everybody? It's your boy Roz Live. So something interesting just happened within the last, well, let's say 15, 14 hours ago. I'm gonna bring up on your screen now. The PlayStation store supposedly leaked out the next Call of Duty game. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Um yeah, so supposedly when you go when you go to the PlayStation store, you went over and it said Call of Duty. This is like a pre-order section. It was like Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Now, of course, this is now removed. So the time you see this video, it's been it's been patched, it's been whatever. Sony fixed the issue, but it's a huge like big deal. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like, oh, how do you just leak this out, Sony? Like how do you how do you make this mistake? So I know the guys are sitting at Infinity Wars. It's like, man, Sony really? Did you really have to do that? So it's crazy right now. But um. Yeah, I, I wanted to talk about this, and not, not just because it happened, because I know everybody else is talking about it, but I want to talk about, let's just say it is real. Let's say the next Call of Duty game is Infinite Warfare. What what are we looking at now? Are we looking at a, um, a new Modern Warfare type of game, Is it or is it going to be futuristic, you know? So there's two things that can either come out of this. One, there could be a, p a potential that this might be a, a remaster collection of all, you know, Infinity, Infinity Wars, um... Call of Duties, you know, who who knows, maybe just a good one, maybe Modern Warfare 4 and, not 4, Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2, you know, maybe bundle up in like a little, you know, collection, you know, maybe, maybe, <laughs> you know, that's what everybody is hoping, that's what I'm hoping, because I actually want to get back into Call of Duty, I want to play some Call of Duty, I feel like Call of Duty is one of those games that's kind of like missing from the generation, I think that's what the problem is, people really, you know, don't appreciate the like Call of Duty, you know, and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4, like how good they were for gaming, you know. It really did, you know, got everybody, you know, excited about gaming and had everybody like, oh my God, I can't wait till I come home from school. You know, I can't wait till I come home from work so I can get on and I can play me some Call of Duty with my friends. <laughs> you know, we just start, you know, doing some team death match. We just having a good old time. You know, we don't have that now. I mean, we got a lot of games that are good, but you know, you don't, you don't have that action pack, you know, popcorn, you know, game that's not super duper serious, but not super duper gimmicky and, you know, fake. But it was just that good little balance. You know, it was an arcade type of shooter platform. And um, we don't have that now. So a lot of people, I think that's what this um, generation is missing. We're missing that little, that little balance, you know, that cool game. So, um, you know, I'm hoping and I'm sure a lot of people are hoping that maybe this next Call of Duty will be, you know, a, a game that's more, you know, modernized and more around present time error and that's not dealing with a lot of other futuristic stuff now there's always a flip side that th to me personally like just listening to the title infinite warfare infinite warfare you know it's, it, it counts it sounds futuristic man like i'm not gonna front with you man that shit sounds futuristic it sounds like some crap that's gonna be like on some space you know you know infinite you know out there all the way out there infinite infinity to be on you know what i'm saying like on some space type shit man that's what it sounds like to me so you know there's always that possibility that we might be getting another freaking you know super duper futuristic call of duty game with exosuits um sp <laughs> space shuttle suits you know flying um instead of like you know the little typical you know lasers and you know that type of um kill streaks we, we could be getting like comments and meteors <laughs> in the battlefield and shit like man we don't even know man it could be it could be anything at this point man and i'm just like kind of like man come on please man people have been praying man people have been you know crossing their fingers like man i hope there's no more exoskeleton suits i hope there's no more jetpacks boosting around no more walking on walls no more weapons that can see through walls no more supply drops man but it's looking like we might be getting another one of those games again, man. I, like I said, I, I predicted this. I said, hey, you know what? There is a strong possibility that, you know, the next game might just be set in stone. Because like I said, you know, they've already been developing. It's already been in development for some time now. You know, the chances is really slim that we actually get what we want. But, um... Yeah, I mean, like I said, we don't know, you know. Who knows? This might be some, some BS, you know. It might not necessarily be, you know true it could just be some you know just an uh, error by um sony's part you know might have made a mistake and did it but you know it was it's pretty unfortunate and i'm pretty pr pretty pretty sad about it so i'm hoping that maybe it's a, um call of duty collection maybe like a you know a modern warfare modern warfare 2 type game mixed together you know or maybe you could even put modern warfare 3 in it and just like maybe just combine the maps like combine them all together you know combine some of the weapons Cause at the end of the day modern warfare modern warfare 2 
Modern Warfare 3, you can actually, I can see that being combined into like one game somehow. Like I can see that, like that can, that can realistically happen because Modern Warfare 3 wasn't all that super duper realistic. And a lot of people didn't really like it because it felt like a patch towards Modern Warfare 2. So, you know, that can possibly, you know, happen. So I'm hoping, crossing my fingers, that hopefully, man, that it'll be something not too crazy, not too futuristic, that, you know, more people who, you know, the original Call of Duty players like myself, you know, the guys who were around the world at war, Modern Warfare 2 era, can get back on, start playing it, and start supporting again. So we can have that balance with, you know, so everybody don't have to worry about playing Battlefield and Halo, you know, you can balance it out and put some Call of Duty in there, you know, because I, I, you know, I want to play Call of Duty. Like, I ain't just going to shit on Call of Duty the entire joint, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm tired of it now. I'm not playing it like you, as you see. You don't never see me post gameplay videos on him but i do feel the urge to want to play it because it's like man you know like i really i kind of miss it man it was like a, it was a part of gaming it was a, it was a good part of gaming when it, when it was good so hopefully something good come out of this but yeah i'm just reporting news letting you guys know putting you guys on game if you don't know and give you my perspective on how i feel about the situation but it's your boy Roz live be sure to like comment and subscribe and i see you guys on my next video i'm out peace